All right, welcome back to Your Turn to Die. After all we've, um... Encountering more questions than answers. J that was... Jin. Where are you, Jin? Quiet, you're putting us in danger too, you know. What should we do? I don't hear his voice anymore. The situation's changed. Thinking safety-wise, we should probably head back for now. No, you want us to abandon Jin? I refuse to give up. You're right. Let's look around, Sarah. No more losing anybody. Right. Something on the bookshelf. Victim disc F. Hmm. Can we? I wonder. Can we read the disc on the other disc I found while exploring? The computer began loading the video. Oh my god. No, no, no! Why? Why does this have to happen? How could I possibly know which one's right? I can't do it! I can't fire these things! Ow! What? The collar's tightening! This must be... This must be another victim from the, uh... From the first trial. Stop it! I can't breathe! I'll fire! So stop it! Oh, jeez. The video ends here. Oh, is this from the first trial, too? It's just too cruel. How could you think up such a thing? Thought I knew entirely well. Our enemies were practically demons. Even so, being shown this... Can we escape? From demons who make us do things like this? We'll escape them, all right. Her dying regrets... All... something on the table. A key. This wasn't here before, was it? Maybe I shouldn't go touching it. Obtained a key with a tag. Not good. Someone's coming from the central hall. Let's go back to the kitchen and hide. Okie dokie. They're close. Keep quiet. Don't know who you are, but don't notice us. The footsteps the footsteps stop near the door. Mm. I see two. I think one of them is one of them is Miley's silhouette. One of them is Miley. I can hear them talking quietly. Did you let them escape? I apologize. The key that was here is... gone? Seriously, give it up. Is Jin safe? Who could the other person be? Listen, don't let Gashu have his way. He's trying to destroy the death game. Huh? I understand. The monitor room should have a surveillance mode, correct? Connect the blue wire, and keep a careful eye on Gashu. 
Why do you know about... And one more thing. You must retrieve the chip in Ranger's head. That chip can destroy this place's security. It's a menace. Destroy the security. Please, be quiet. What if someone heard you? <laughs> then things would get quite fun, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, and... What? The tablet! This isn't the time! Who's there? We have to run. Shit. <sighs> that was a close call. But Jin is still... It didn't look like those two had captured him, at least. Let's think about what we can do. What we can do. Hmm. Both sound important, because it sounds like somebody... Somebody made a trade with us. Those two mentioned some very interesting things. Yep, something about a chip in Ranger's head. Plus a surveillance mode in the monitor room. I don't know what sort of functionality it has, but if we could watch the security cameras on all the floors... Sounds loads better than sneaking back into the, onto the first floor and getting caught. Okay, sir, let's roll. Before that, just briefly, we should check our cards. That annoying noise earlier signaled a trade. Alright, someone's cards must have gotten traded. Sarah's didn't change. The second trade was performed four minutes ago. I'm still the keymaster, and I'm still a commoner. Huh. Then did someone who was already a commoner trade with Keji? So it was between people other than us. Oh, do, do ours still go off even if someone else did a trade? Glad it didn't add any extra complications. Now let's go to the monitor room. Despite its complexity, offers only simple functions. What should I do? Looking down by the ground, various wires are connected to the computer. They said it was the blue wire, correct? Let's try connecting it. I connected the blue wire to the computer. Oh. Bingo. This is the, the surveillance system. Is Jin on any of these? There's nothing of note. The left monitor shows Reko sitting in her bedroom. She must be exhausted. No. The center monitor shows an empty bedroom. Huh? Something's odd about this bedroom. Oh, there's a monitor in it. Mishima. Huh? What, what's going on? That's the Professor Mishima AI. <sighs> I made it back. Now? Did she... Is this really for the best? Indeed. Well done, Miss Now. I'm glad your safety was insured. But... But he'll... Professor, what should I do? Believe in me, Miss Now. For I was miraculously revived so that I could protect you. Do it. Do just as I say, yes? 
Huh, so is this what is is this what was causing the uneasiness when we talked to now earlier? Right. Now put on a smile. I like to see you cheery, Miss Now. Yes. But but before the the Mishima AI before wanted Reko to destroy him in order to so that so that now could could continue to get stronger without being reliant on him. Why do I get the feeling that that's not me? That's not the Mishima AI. It's someone else trying to trying to manipulate her. Fantastic! What a good student I have indeed. What's going on? This isn't good. Keiji. Just what is that, Professor Mishima? He said he revived, but. It was always just an AI that Reko destroyed here. It's a tricky subject, huh? AIs are entities of pure data, so... If our enemy's up to it, maybe they're free to revive them and copy them as they like. What's death even mean in that case? No way! The scarier thing is... They might also be able to remake their personalities however it suits them, don't you think? Only now's room having a monitor, and it's pretty suspect, too. Maybe the floor master's plotting something. No way. Now. Nothing to note. Someone's standing in front of a bedroom. That's Kataro. Is he talking with the owner of the room? Can we... Hmm, I guess we can. Bottom right monitor shows the Room of Lies. Alice's body and Rio Ranger's remains are still there. Alice. We checked all the monitors, but Jin was nowhere to be found. The surveillance system is only for floor 3. Sure enough, Jin's still on floor 1. Uh oh, somebody's coming. Hmm? It's Gashu. I'll shut off the security system. Oh dear, just what are you two up to? Hmm? Sure, nosy. We're having a moment here. Oh my, pardon me then. While you're here though, tell me something. Are there AIs on all these monitors? You're precisely right. Here are assembled AIs of all candidates who cleared the first trial. Hmm. Gotcha. You can go. We're gonna take the next step. Yes, I shall leave you to it. Now, what's it do? I know. We should collect Ranger's chip while we still can. You okay not going after Jin? Of course I'm worried, but... Jin isn't just a child anymore. I'm sure he'll escape and return to us. And when he does, we should have an escape plan worked out to surprise him with. Maybe that's what believing is. Let's go to the Room of Lies. Awesome. Yo, you too. It's the hurry. On a date. <laughs> Bastard, get away from Sarah! Is this the time for jokes? It's certainly within your options to spend some time together, you two. Saffron's there. Ah, where are you two headed? I just felt like telling some lies, so the room of lies? Ah, you can't. Right now it's... you're not allowed in. Hold on, Saffron, can you just decide that? But you see, we can't leave the bodies there any longer. We need to hold a memorial service. No buts about it. Let's leave it for later, sir. Understood. Oh, 
Oh, Miss Sarah. Right now, you're not allowed in the room of lies. Seems it'll be hard to retrieve it right now. Suspicious vending machine. Well, now what? Ah, Miss Sarah. <laughs> you came in a good time. So? Don't give me that displeased look. I just wanted to talk for a bit. About what? Wow, you're actually listening to me. Please be serious. That's right, there ain't no time, so. Thank you very much, Sarah. Kataro, Kana. Have the three of them been working together? Huh. Forming their own little... Seems like they're putting together their own little clique there. This is important. Will you listen? Huh. I, gu I guess. Thanks, Miss Sarah. So on to business. Uh... Yeah, I want to reconcile. Reconcile? Are you being... Are you being sincere, or are you putting me on? What do you mean by that? I don't understand. We've quarreled a bunch, haven't we? But I realized, you know, it can't go on like this. I mean, our real enemy's the kidnappers, right? That's true. I want to put an end to this ridiculous death game. I want us to escape. Of course I mean all of us. What a moving speech. I'm serious, Keji. So how about we all share this laptop? It's my bad for taking it from you, but... In the end, I couldn't see what was on it, because the password had been changed. So that's how it is. That explains why you suddenly feel like joining up with us, who knew the password. Huh? You know the password? Enough with the bargaining. There isn't time. We have the password, so is the laptop. Reconciling means we share. I really do just want to reconcile, though. Well, whatever. Okay, as proof of rebuilt friendship... Let's shake hands, Miss Sarah. Oh, don't you look so... so welcoming. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm get I'm getting a bad feeling about this, but what was that? Here, Kana, you make good with Miss Sarah too. Kana. Come on, give me your hand. Huh? I gently grabbed Kana's little hand. Kana betrayed you again and again. Stop it, Kana. We're friends. Sarah. And me? Here you go. <laughs> you too. Well, thanks. Yo, Sarah, Kana, I've been watching you guys. Reko. I don't know what happened, but if there's no ill feelings, then great. Yes. Um, Reko, will you look at it with us? At Kai's laptop? Huh? Can I? Of course. Okay, then. I'm turning it on. Oh, it's open. If there are any clues we can use to escape in here... Trash can for discarded data. A folder named Sarah. Ah. Uh, it's locked with a password. I can't open it. A file named Order 8. Kai, good work guarding the Shiduin family. It seems the Shiduins have been looking for assistance as of late. This is good timing. Kai, get them to employ you and slip into their midst. The organization has prepared the necessary documents. They're all kept in this file. It's a forged resume. I guess only the 
photos of the real Kai, though it seems to be pretty old. I knew he had an assistant when I was a kid, but it was only while I was at school, so I never saw him around. Was Kai really there at my house? Interesting. Order 59. Mmm. Kai, the Death Game Project is finally taking on tinges of reality. At last, your time has come to be useful to the organization. Guard Sarah Chidun until the planned day, and ensure she remains healthy. And as much as possible, keep an eye out for her close friends, Joe Tazuna and Ryoko Hirose. Was, was that name on the list? I forget. We can't add anyone else, understood? Fulfill your duty, Kai. Even Joe and my best friend Ryoko are mentioned in here. Oh, right, Ryoko. That, right, that was the one that she was uh, kind of setting Joe up with. The file contains investigative reports and the photos of Joe and Ryoko. Don't tell me. Was it planned for Ryoko to get involved, too? File named Sarah's Tastes. Did Kai make this file himself? Miss Sarah's favorite things. Sweets edition. Strawberry jam. Jam in general. Mashed sweet potatoes with chestnuts. Koshi and toast. He's right on the money. Nothing but paste, huh? Miss Sarah eats well with a balanced diet. She especially likes sweet things. I'm happy to understand her just one bit more. It goes on and on like this. So, uh, Kai was Sarah's stalker. Now that I think about it, there's always was something paste-like at the dinner table. A file named Backdoor Smut. Um, do we want to read this? Let's read it. Hey, quit it with that! <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly excited myself, but... Well, well, it's not an image file, right? Huh? I nervously opened the file. Inside, there were long strings of text and symbols I couldn't make any sense of. Can't make heads or tails of it. Hard to believe Kai was into this. Is this so... Is this a whatchamacallit? Some kind of programming thingy? You can't decipher this sort of thing. A file named To Miss Sarah. Hello, Miss Sarah. I'm Kai. I'm truly sorry you had to get involved in an incident such as this. This was written during the death game. Miss Sarah, if you're reading this, there's something I want to tell you. I, Kai Saito, was an agent belonging to a certain vile organization. In addition, I was raised as an assassin. An assassin? However, I could not carry out the assassination orders I was issued in my youth. I could not kill another human being. My father was disappointed in me and my standing in the organization was low. Then one day I was appointed to a certain task. It was to guard and care for you from the shadows. I say this, but it was not a task I held in high regard at first. Not until the plans for the death game were beginning to approach a reality. I myself do not know the death game's objective. However, while this is merely my impression, Miss Sarah, it is possible that this is all revolving around you. That is what it's sounding like. Of course, I do also believe that you're merely a victim, Miss Sarah. Still, the organization needs you. And they will make they will take any means necessary. The organization is Asunaro. 
It is a secret organization possessing superb technology in a multitude of fields. Asunaro? Startled me. What's the matter? That's the same name as the orphanage I'm from! Settle down. Let's keep reading. Interesting. So... Hmm... This death game is not for pleasure, nor revenge. To the organization, it's an inevitable mission. That's what my father believed. His father? The organization drove my father mad. There may come a time you must confront him. At that time, please defeat my father, Gashu. That's, that's him. Huh. Gashu. I've collected all the data I've researched in the Sarah folder. If I'm already dead, please make use of it. The password is your mother's name. I hope it can be of some use. I pray you'll not be swallowed up by the whirlpool of deception and slaughter. Please survive, even if it must be you alone. The message ends here. Kai, we're all working together now. Hey, so, don't you think this clears Sarah of suspicion? Hmm? Weren't you on about that, saying Sarah, Kai, and Joe are the masterminds working together? Well, that was just a little tit for tat. I wasn't exactly calm at the time. Sorry, Miss Sarah. I'm glad we could reconcile. Hmm. Okay. So, what about... Password is my mother's name. I slowly typed in my mother's name. It opened. A file named Personal Thanks. Hello, this is Kai. Apologies, but this message has absolutely nothing to do with the death game. Miss Sarah, I wish to express my personal gratitude as Kai Sato. I owe a great deal to the Shidunin family. Your father hired me as an assistant to help out with his job and housework. Of course, this was also a job for the organization, to keep watch of you. At first I felt disgusted with your father, who treated me as if I was family. I was trained as an agent from a young age. I had never experienced anything such as affection. I was afraid. I afraid that I might be changing, but over time, I came to want to protect your family. I wish to see you grow to maturity with my own eyes. For the first time, I had a reason to live. I'm truly glad I could meet the Chidoons. Thank you very much, Miss Sarah. Kai. File named Important. Background check file. Hello, this is Kai. I was able to use an old ID to successfully access a very small section of the organization's database. There, I discovered data pertaining to participants in the death game. Unfortunately, data on most of the participants was protected in such a way I could not protect it. Or, could not extract it. But there was one man in particular for which that protection was removed. It appears his file was at one time deleted, but for some reason or another it was restored. Uh, who the hell is, is that? Wait, who could this be? Is that, is that so? This guy's, what's the matter? What? Everyone's acting strange. Do they all know this person? He looks like so. Uh, uh, sorry, I gotta use the toilet. I do not even know his name. However, there's only one reason the organization would delete a file on someone. Namely, death. If he 
passed away before the death game, and his file was then restored. Perhaps that means he was revived. I keep thinking about, didn't, didn't Alice say at one point the guy he killed was, was so? Or at least, hmm. What? Revived? I know, I know I've seen this guy somewhere or another, but why can't I remember? You neither? Kana thinks so too, but she can't remember anything. Does anybody know this guy's name? Uh... He's wearing the same scarf as So. I couldn't solve the riddle concerning him. And there's one more curious aspect. There should have been 20 participants in the death game. But there were not enough files for everyone. My supposition is that... Uh, uh, wait, a trade was made. So traded... He left the room. So must have traded with someone. Wait, maybe that or... Hmm, wait, not necessarily, because now and uh, Jin aren't here either. That sound! There's been a trade! Uh, but this ain't the time for that! Someone who isn't present initiated a trade. Let's check our tablets. Yeah, you guys make sure to check yours, too. Okay. Let's boot up the tablet. Okay, so I'm the key master. Back to the laptop. Huh? <gasps> oh, fuck. Sacrifice. The third trade has just been performed. There's no mistaking it. Someone traded cards with me. And of all things, they pushed on me the sacrifice. Inconceivable. I mean, I... I'm fighting for everyone's... Suffocating. I can't breathe right. What's the matter, Sarah? Jeez. How's it feel to have my card? Calm down. Right now. The laptop. No worries. It's not like that card makes means you definitely die, you know. The laptop. Of course, you did kill me. Sarah, calm down. I feel a touch on my shoulder. It's warm, but the hallucination won't go away. I need, I need to trade cards, and I have 50 tokens. Right, I left the wallet in my bedroom. I need to go get it. My body moves on its own. Not caring about anyone watching, I start running. Where's the wallet? The wallet isn't under the bed. The wallet isn't near the chair in the middle. The chair on the left. Where is it? I've looked everywhere, but I can't find the wallet. Why? I know I couldn't have lost it. Uh, I don't want to die. Is there any other way? Huh? The Room of Lies. 
if I take Alice's tokens. I start running again, before they collect the body. For the sake of my future. Gone. No! Alice's body's been completely cleaned up. You're kidding! Why? No! Now I'm going to... What do I do? Miss Sarah? Saflin? I just finished cleaning. Of course, I also carefully transported the bodies. This might be my last chance. Are my tokens around here somewhere? Huh? Did you lose your wallet? I haven't seen it anywhere. Oh, I don't mean that. I entrusted my tokens to Alice. All of them, temporarily, for a certain plan. I plan to take them back, assuming survival. And we didn't hear anything about the dead tokens, the dead's tokens being forfeit. So, could you give them back? Miss Sarah, um... Alice didn't have any tokens. Huh? Sorry, I'm busy, so if you'll excuse me. That doesn't make sense. He had... Are you sure he had no tokens? Alice didn't have any tokens? That's impossible. Alice was one of the high placers for tokens. Uh, did someone do this to trap me? <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> hey there. Having fun, Sarah. Yeah, I can't muster the energy to think about anything anymore. In the end, I guess you weren't seriously thinking you could escape either, huh? Is that so? Just the hunch I got. You find hope for everyone else, because without, because those without hope die. Is that how you thought? That's... That's wrong, Joe. I was the one who needed hope. As long as I'm looking forward, I can't look away from the reality of killing you. But the future waiting once I return, I can only imagine it as pitch black. The hell, sir? You wanted to die that bad? Maybe so. Somewhere in my heart, I... <laughs> Finally, I won't have to run for you anymore. Oh, Big Sis Sarah, stay with us, meow! Uh, Jin! Big Bro Joe isn't here, meow. Don't give any attention to anything weird, woof. Why are you here, Jin? Why am I here? So I can cheer Big Sis Sarah up, obviously. Oh, aw. Jin. Please, come back to your senses. Believe in the real Joe. Please, Big Sis Sarah. Believe in Joe. You're not the only one who couldn't do anything, Meow. Me and all of us. We've regretted. Woof. We've suffered, Meow. And yet, Big Bro Joe put on a smile to the end, Meow. And everybody else who died. They were thinking of the ones who'd be left till the very end. Woof. So I'm sure what he really wants is for everyone to get out, get home alive. That's why you have to believe in the real Joe, Big Sis Sarah. The real Joe. I don't know. I feel like I've lost sight of him already. The guy who was always by my side. Do I have the courage to face him head on? Front the hallucination. All right, Sarah. You aren't Joe. I need to push aside the evil clutches reaching for me.
broken. It's impossible to get rid of me for good. Again, that is. Big Sis Sarah? Jim. Thank you. I'd forgotten something important. You're back to normal, look. Yeah, let's all return alive, together. I won't let anyone else's lives be lost. I won't let the kidnappers have their way. Atta girl. Yeah. I'm brimming with energy. It's more than just my life. To protect everyone, I'll move forward. Big sis Sarah, let's go, woof. Oh. Oh. You have your... You got your, uh... Your kitty senses? For now, where are we headed, meow? Let's see. How about we question Melon Soda Lady about an exit, meow? We'll make her cry for real with your coerciveness, woof! Come to think of it, didn't Saflin retrieve Rio Ranger's body? If she found the chip, we should probably hurry. Huh? Are we really off to make her cry, meow? <laughs> There's something on the ground. What's this, meow? A video? This seems familiar. Oh, one of, yeah, one of these. A video from the prize exchange. This is the victim video that now bought. As I recall, it showed a woman in a police uniform tied up with chains. And in front of me, a man looking on. A death trap was activated. From behind, the man looked just like Keji, but... Did Big Sis now drop this? Woof. Why here? Tana's quietly conversing. Yes, So really has done a lot to help his escape. I'm talking about So. Tana. Sarah, are you okay now? Yeah, I just wasn't feeling well earlier. Please sit down, by all means. Yeah, I'm fine. You were sitting here first. Then I'll sit on your lap, Sarah. No oh, thanks. Anyway, what's this about, So? Earlier, I went to return the laptop to So, and it looked like he was making progress on a plan to escape. Is that right? Was what he said before really true? I'm sure So can come up with a way for all of us to leave. So, whatever roll card you have, it doesn't matter, Sarah. Huh? Kana. I can't believe you, Kana. So really? Reko. Hey. Reko slapped my shoulder with an accepting smile. Reko. See, so you got some color back in your face. Glad you're okay, Sarah. Sorry, at the time I... It's fine, don't say a thing. We actually kept looking at the laptop. But there wasn't anything major. I see. If I knew a little more about computers, maybe I could do something. 
that ain't happening. You gotta think of something else. Oh, there's now. Ah, Sarah and Jim. He exists now? What are you doing, Meow? I was just looking for Saflin. Did you find her? No, she isn't anywhere. Strange, I thought I saw her enter the medical office. Hmm. Ah! Yeah, I smell a weird smell, Woof. What sort of smell? Meow. Ah! It's like blood mixed with something burnt, Woof. What? Are you two okay? Ah, she must have she must have taken the bodies back behind there. I think it's coming from that glass door. Behind this door. There should be that doll of him. I'll open it up, Woof. Uh, Jin. There's nothing inside. Let's see. Hey, hold on. Where did that doll disappear to? Oh. Big Sis Sarah, there's a path in the back, Woof. Say what? Maybe Saflin is through here. Should we go in, Meow? If you're going, I'll come too. Pitch black path further in. What should I do? Alright. Oh. What in the... I see. More dolls. Meow, creepy woof. Oh. Don't tell me these are all... Dolls? There's even one that looks just like me, Woof. On the right hand stand numerous dolls, including ones of Jin and Alice. Like standing in a mirror, Woof. Hey, it moved a little. Meow. Just my imagination. Big Sis Sarah, you got a mean look, Woof. In the middle stand numerous stalls, including ones of myself, Keji, and Kana. Feels like they'll start talking to me any second, Meow. I don't think they're gonna start moving. They're even dolls of people we never met. Probably people who were already sacrificed. On the left stand numerous stalls, including ones of So, Kotaro, and Professor Mishima. Even the loner gets a doll meow. Peeves me, woof. <laughs> so, huh? The person in the photo on the laptop. He was wearing the same scarf as So. Just what relation do they have? Big Sis Sarah, what do you think of the loner, woof? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. What So wants, what he's thinking. I feel there's something deep within him that I still don't know. Meow. <laughs> oh, what's this? I smell something further back, too, Meow. Keeps going. Once we searched here, I guess we'll go there. That ranger's head. Yeah. Ranger's head is sitting on a table. It was here. <laughs> this is Ranger's corpse? Uh, let's look for the chip while we can. Yes. Hmm? Wait, what's this chip like even? Not good. I don't know anything about complex machinery like this. Dad. 
Huh? He talked, meow. Jin, don't shout. Oh, sh another trade? Why now? Who's there? Please leave at once. Saflin. Miss Sarah. Melon soda with a lousy taste. What's up with this, Woof? Ah. Uh, so you regain consciousness, stranger. Saflin. God damn it. Why wouldn't you let me just die? Yeah, Woof. You should leave a bad guy like this alone, Woof. And yet, don't tell me you want to fix... Yeah, don't tell me you want to fix him, Woof. What? I'm... being fixed? There's no fixing you. Huh? Important parts of you have been destroyed. You have about ten minutes left. Don't... Pl don't play games with me, bastard! Then... Why would you... In order to complete you. Complete? How much do you know about yourself, Ranger? I'm Dad's masterwork, Rio Ranger. That is not your real name. You're an incomplete creation. What? Gashu strongly embowed you with a certain emotion. A certain emotion. Right, he said it was inferiority. Inferiority? Yes, which gave birth to jealousy and hatred. It could be said that made you more human. And he discarded what you originally possessed. Discarded? Kindness, compassion, happiness. Nearly all of your positive emotions. Even with mechanisms to create expressions, you could you can't create a heartfelt smile. Hence why he used those little those little emoticons. Because he's got no heart. It was originally my job to insert it. Gashu handled the negative emotions and myself the positive emotions. But Gashu stopped me. Claiming that imperfection was more human, he rearranged you into a warp doll. No way! Now, I will return you your heart. I will perfect you to your true form. Stop it! Stafflin began working on the machine. Uh. Please... I don't need a heart, not now. I just need to die, but you... Stop! Uh... They're flowing in. All those unwanted emotions. No, this isn't... Forgive me, just... You must know the extent of what we took from you. I don't want to know that! Now you'll be perfected. From the heartless doll, Rio Ranger. To the human with a heart, Rio Laser. Human? What? What have I done? Ended. I feel a little bad, Meow. This is just my obligation. Saflin began rustling around in Laser's head. This is the chip. Huh? You came looking for it, didn't you? If used well, this can nullify security. But to do that, you must find a secret room only Gashu knows about. 
That's all I can say. Now go. Hmm. Okay. But with that, I think... I think we'll end it for now. And, um, we'll... We'll see what happens. What continues to happen next time. See you then. I'm playing a game.